Hey guys, Bimo here, and today we have some absolutely gigantic news. The entire Gotchaverse is talking about this, and I can't lie, it's absolutely hilarious. Because Fumbling Waves has fumbled once again. And if you want to understand exactly why, make sure to stick through this video so I can tell you. Anyways, let's get straight into it. So, yesterday marked a massive, massive, massive W for Genshin. Genshin cannot stop catching Ws nowadays, and that makes a lot of people very angry. I love pissing off the Genshin haters. It is my favorite pastime. I can't help it. These guys are quite literally insane. I mean, I'm a bit of a fence-sitter myself, but you can't lie. Within Waves took a massive, massive L, okay? I'm gonna do the L on you guys. What's the Fortnite dance? Because, I'll tell you the reason why. But before we jump straight into it, I need to give you a bit of backstory. So recently, and it's still going on to this day at least, depends when you're watching this video, Gamescom is happening. Gamescom, what is that? Gamescom is an absolutely massive event. One of the biggest video game events in the entire year. So, it's held in Germany, for those of you guys that don't know or care. This event hosts up to like 300k plus people where the largest and greatest game companies all come together to basically show off their games and why they are so special. So everyone flies out to Germany to show off the latest and greatest games, all the biggest updates. There are so many huge things happening at Gamescom. For example, we can look at, there's PUBG. PUBG was at Gamescom. We had uh, some indie games shooting zombies. That looks pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff happening at Gamescom. Look, a car. The, there was a car right there. Pretty cool stuff, am I right? Whole bunch of companies. You got Xbox, Bandai Namco, yada yada yada. I mean, just look at all these titles. I really have to, I don't have to justify you why this is such a big deal. Alongside this, they also have awards. And this isn't really a small award. This is quite a big deal because, you know, if you win at Gamescom, it's a massive achievement. Not everyone gets to win at Gamescom. Haters will tell you otherwise, but I'm here to tell you that they are wrong. Also, apologies, my uh, my system is dying. We are on life support here. My computer is on DEFCON 5 mode. See the lag? I, I apologize, but uh, until, I until, until I get a sponsor, this is how it may have to be. Google Chrome is absolutely butchering my PC while I have my over-the-top setup going on. Apologies. So Ben, with that in mind, if you want to support the channel, feel free to subscribe. So, uh... I'm about to literally explode. I mean, look at this. Our favorite games are uh, Gamescom. Specifically, my favorite game, Genshin Impact. Well, I, I, I do dabble in a bit of Genshin from time to time, if you, if you may not know. So here's the thing. At Gamescom, they do have awards, and these awards are a big deal, like I said. And there's a lot of different award categories. We're going to talk about the Mobile Game Awards because that's the one where Genshin is always nominated and all the Genshin competitors are always nominated in since, you know, it's, it's a mobile game available on all platforms. But that, that's kind of where we live. Those are our ends. If we see anyone else inside our Mobile Game Awards, we're going to have a problem, okay? We don't, we don't take lightly to, uh, to people walking around in our ends. Why am I speaking like this? I should stop. A few months ago, I think, I don't know how many months ago, uh, the Game Awards happened and uh, Genshin was nominated for Player's Choice and we lost. We lost to Baldur's Gate 3. To be honest, Baldur's Gate 3 is a huge W of a game. I can't even complain about that. Great game and I don't know, maybe we lost another award. But all I remember, it was a sad day. And literally, uh, all the Genshin haters and all the Honkai Star Rail players went crazy because this is when we had the Dr. Ratio incident. Where they got a free Dr. Ratio for winning an event. I don't know if it was this one. But I remember the Hoyo vs. Civil War was at like an all-time high at this point. Like seriously, we, we were not getting along. It's kind of funny now. Everyone's kind of rejoiced. And it becomes Hoyo Shields versus Koro Shields. I absolutely love the high IQ gotcha space we are in. So moving forward, this was a big deal for us. We had to win. But before I jump into um, uh, talking about the awards directly, let's talk about Genshin and Gamescom. So Genshin, you know they're great at marketing and Gamescom is a big deal for them. They put a lot of effort. I mean, have a look at some of these tweets from them. Look at some of the setups they have on display over here. Look at that. They, they care a lot about this stuff. This is a big deal for them. And it's always a big deal 
Marketing for Genshin is absolutely huge because they need as many people as they can to see Genshin and push the cult of Genshin even further. So we can get more gambling addicts here. If you have a look at them, look at that. Look, look at that. Do I have to say less? Yo, you can you play Genshin at Gamescom? I didn't even know they could do that. But look, you got Alhaitham, you got all these characters over here. I mean, it just looks like a good time, especially if you're a Genshin fan. But to be fair, it's even more like a like a way to get more people into the game because they don't have enough, apparently. You got a big, you got a cryo slime as well, okay? The more photos, absolutely cool. You got a dragon over there. And uh, yeah, you got, it's just a absolute huge event for Hoyoverse. And also alongside that, you also can probably recognize some, some big names and big faces over here. You got, uh, you got Dario and Bren Online. So those are the two ones that I watch out of these guys at least. But as you can tell, huge, huge deal. Because I say this because a lot of people are probably going to downplay it based on what I'm about to tell you. And also before we get into the awards, big announcements from Genshin happened at Gamescom. Uh, they also confirmed that uh, Genshin Impact is coming to Xbox on November 20th. I have a whole video talking about that. So feel free to check that out where I ramble like a schizo about why that's a big deal. This is 1.1 million views. So it's absolutely huge news, by the way. So uh, anyway, so okay, let's dive right into the situation of the Game Awards at Gamescom. So Genshin Impact and Zenda Zone Zero was both nominated for Best Mobile Game of the Year at Gamescom 2024. We have a whole bunch of things here. Uh, but the only two care, you got two Hoyoverse games back to back here. Zendless Zone Zero and Genshin. Um, so, here's a problem which shook the internet. People lost their mind. Where is the weathering waves? For the last six months, the internet has been going crazy about Genshin versus weathering waves. Weathering waves are going to destroy Genshin. Genshin is over. It's over for Genshin. Pack your bags and get out. Like the amount of noise we've been hearing, especially from the western side, oh my god. God, I, I I had enough of the internet. Like everywhere I could look is Genshin bad. Weather Wave stocks are through the roof. Start playing Weather Waves right now. Make Weather Waves content right now, guys. You need to get on the Weather Waves bandwagon. And seriously, oh, I could that's all I could hear for a long, long time. But don't get me wrong, I've been actually enjoying Weather Waves more than Genshin right now. And I do hope that 5.0 really brings me back to Genshin. I'm playing both, but right now I'm having more fun with the Weather Waves if I'm 1000% honest with you. I am a boring fence sitter. I want to have both sides of the argument because because I can't form an opinion of my own. I am just kidding. I like both games. Video game tribalism is some of the stupidest thing on the planet. But that regardless, uh, Weather Waves, you took a fat L. Look at that. That's an L. That's that's for you, Weather Waves. Take the L. Anyway, and with all that being said, Genshin won. Genshin took the W, guys. Absolutely insane. We also have this guy. Even he's shocked. Like, how did they win? How did they win again? They always win. And, uh, I mean, is it a surprise? But, uh, it's just funny, everywhere, the, everywhere the comments are going crazy, like, uh, Weather Waves, they don't love Wuwa, they don't love Weather Waves. Let's get Primo Gems, Primo Gems, let's go! It, they literally pay off, <laughs> Genshin pays off their fans in Primo Gems, it's the funniest thing ever, in my honest opinions. Everyone's getting, can we get a temple, Primo's where? We have, uh, the Hida down here, this is absolutely funny. So basically, Primo Gems, and Boycott is right now, undeserved. Lama weather waves could never. All the Koro shills crying in the comments. Undeserved, to be honest. It should have been ZZZ or weather waves instead. So a lot of people, a lot of people have made a lot of noise about this situation. What do I think? Genshin on top. That's what I think. It, it is the era of Genshin. And I don't care what you guys think. To be fair, annoying people on the internet kind of funny. And to celebrate Genshin winning the award, I have something special for you guys today. Do you guys know what that is? Under my desk, we have something absolutely huge. And no, it's not a gun. We have a very special trophy here today, guys. For such an important day, I had to go out of my way and get a trophy. Can you guys see that? It's very special. Like, the people at Gamescom had to ship this down to my office. They had to go through that door and they sent it specially for me, okay? To show you guys in this video. This trophy is a big deal because the CEO... Whoever runs Gamescom hand delivered this to me to share with you guys. If you can read that, it says, let me point, let me point to focus, Gamescom 2024 Genshin. Uh, actually, this is just the uh, UEFA Champions League 
football trophy or whichever football trophy is in the UK. I, I just put a I just put a sticky note on it. But it's a big deal. It's a big deal, guys. Okay. To commemorate this, this I'm gonna make a shelf in the background to show all of the achievements in the last year. But for now, I'll probably leave it on that file cabinet in the back over there. So uh, let me put this away real quick. That being said, I'm gonna put it right on that file cabinet. So. Uh, all the Genshin haters can get very upset whenever they see my videos. But there you go. I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Looks pretty nice over there, don't you think? And don't forget about Withering Voice. I haven't forgot about you guys at all. The eagle eyed amongst you probably would have noticed there's something hiding in the corner. See that corner? That's especially for you guys. Can I reach it? Can I reach it? One second. Let me let me let me reach over get this trophy. Why'd I put it so far away from me? This is so stupid. Okay, I'm gonna have to grab it with my left hand. All right, left hand, go. Nope. Am I... Am I stupid? Because I can't grab it. There we go. Okay, guys. Don't think I forgot about you weathering waves shields, okay? I haven't forgot about the Kuro bots. I, I haven't. Because today, we have a very special participation trophy for you. You guys didn't get nominated at all, but I found this in the garbage outside and i got it just for you guys here have a look i put special effort into this for you guys see look look at this one second one second get that in focus it says gamescom 2024 with some poop emojis just for you guys yeah let's just get this out of here okay no no one cares uh, t take the l again uh, i'm just waiting for <laughs> don't want to see how many people get angry at this video it'll be very funny let's get back to the let's get back to being serious i think everyone all the corobots and all the people with negative iq have probably a left an angry comment and left the video but this is where i have to get serious okay because there's a reason why Wither Waves didn't even get nominated. And uh, and it's not just because Genshin Impact asserted so much dominance over Kuro Games that they were too scared to even try to compete. Well, here's the thing. Kuro Games has been notoriously bad at marketing and advertising. They kind of just don't even bother advertising their games half the time. But here's where it gets a bit confusing, but uh, just stay with me. So in order to be nominated for an award at Gamescom, you actually have to be present at Gamescom. That means you need to have your game presented at Gamescom, a trailer or at the exhibition or something there. Uh, if you don't believe me, here's the rules. Uh, every award submission must meet the following conditions and criteria by submitting a game or product. A company, yada, 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 yada. You read this all you want. I can barely read, so uh, I'm just gonna highlight the important parts. So you must complete the form. Okay, boring stuff, whatever. Participating companies must be exhibitors in the entertainment area of Gamescom. Submitted games must be hands-on playable by the general audience at Gamescom. And uh, basically, you gotta be there. And uh, Weather Waves is nowhere to be seen. Weather Waves was scared of Gid. Okay, jokes aside, um, for whatever reason, Burrow Games didn't put Weather Waves through. Uh, and it's not uncommon that Weather Waves kind of flops uh, advertising. That's why it's such a big deal when the trailers for Weather Waves got so many views. Because it, uh, Kuro Games is a new company, very much unheard of. And it was pushed off the backs of a lot of Genshin haters, which I think to a good degree... I think it was free marketing for them, and it was great. I mean, everyone got to experience with their waves. So, um, you know, riding the Hey Genshin was a good idea, and I really do love with their waves, and I will be making content on it later on. But I just wanted to annoy all the hate watchers in the chat because uh, that's funny. Here's the part that doesn't make sense for me, at least, because obviously it was a big deal. You you have 5.0 coming out. You have, you know, obviously with the waves released a few months ago, very soon, it would be a great time to double down and triple down and saying, we're a big company, we're here to stay. But here's the thing that doesn't quite make sense. So if you go here, we can see that Wither Waves actually attended Gamescom last year in 2023. So they didn't attend this year, which made them eligible to be nominated. Fair, that's fine. Genshin is kind of used to this thing. They're really good at marketing. They're really good at advertising. So kind of a no-brainer that they did so well. But here's the thing. Last year, they had some amazing displays at Gamescom. Seriously, this is probably one of the coolest things I've seen. Look at that. One of the coolest enemies in, like, uh, Withering Waves. This guy, the, uh, what's his name? The Crownless absolutely insane i wish i could have seen this in person jokes aside this is some cool stuff and it was a big deal because they had like 200k and they were pretty small at that point like not everyone was aware of where the whole weather waves core games i mean they were but not to this degree like it has been lately here's the thing 
Within Waves, last year, they had booths, they had everyone, they, they made a big hoo about it. A lot of people showed up, a lot of a lot of excited fans. Even Rexlin made a video talking about it, where he went and saw uh, Within Waves. Let me see if I can find it. If you don't believe me, here it is. As you can see here, he had even, he went to the exhibition himself where he was filming everything. I think this was a live stream, actually. So there was a, there was a lot of stuff going on. You could see people cosplaying in front of the, uh, in front of the statue over there. So yeah, so yeah, they are able to actually go to attend Gamescom. And I, I find it weird that they didn't attend this year, and I really wish they did. As funny as the entire situation is, because a lot of people are taking this way too seriously. Uh, the gacha community is kind of funny because everyone's a ride or die with their favorite gacha game. If one wins, they need to attack the other and vice versa. And I think it's just very funny to see from the sidelines and talk about. So the big question for me is why they didn't attend this year. Because this this year would have been a big deal for them. Um, and honestly, I don't have a reason as to why they didn't. Because mm, I, I, I genuinely don't know. I feel like maybe it was due to the release of Weather Waves being delayed. Because I do believe it was delayed a few times, quite a bit. Uh, so this wasn't in their timeline at all. I think it kind of worked in their favor, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, but something is saying in my head that the Weather Waves is delayed quite a bit. And this could potentially mean that the Gamescom didn't quite line up. And uh, therefore they couldn't really put a lot of effort in because it wasn't in their scope at all. With all that being said, everyone has indeed lost their mind over... Genshin winning at Gamescom. People have said a whole bunch of funny things, but you know what is funny? What I do like about Twitter? They got these these nice little uh, hash emoji things, and I made an entire video talking about Genshin and what they've done to Twitter. Because Genshin done something absolutely huge, and they fixed Twitter. They made Twitter better. Yes, sounds absurd because that kind of sounds like the complete opposite of what they do, but trust me, you're going to want to check this out. Go watch this video to hear me yap about how Genshin and Twitter joined forces, but for good this time. Okay, get out of here now. I'm I'm too tired. I spent way too much time making those damn trophies, and uh, it was a complete waste of time. Seriously, I was up till 2 a.m.